I have a fast heart rate. My doctor calls it tachycardia. Uh, what causes tachycardia and what can we do about it? A normal rate is about 70 per minute. If it gets below 60 beats per minute, we call it a slow heart rate, heart, slow heart rate, bradycardia. If it gets above 100 or 120, we call it a tachycardia, a heart rate that's too fast. What can cause that? Well, exercise. When we exercise, our heart rate goes up, but it comes back to normal when we rest. What happens if your heart rate stays at 110, which is abnormal, for a long period of time? Well, it can be due to several things. Uh, number one, it could be due to anemia. When people get anemia, a low blood count, the heart has to beat faster to carry the blood around to the body. An overactive thyroid can cause tachycardia, a fast heart rate, for no other reason. There are some intermittent fast heart rates that we call atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, supraventricular tachycardia. Boy, if those don't sound like medical names. But what they are, there are four chambers in the heart. And there's one of those chambers that has the heart rate regulator. It's called the SA node. And sometimes if that SA node doesn't work well, then we can get a tachycardia. That tachycardia can come from the atrium. We call it atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation or above the ventricle, uh, that's the atrium, we call it SVT, above the ventricle tachycardia. Now, if we get a tachycardia due to the big pump, due to the ventricle, then we got some big problems. Ventricular tachycardia uh, is a very, very serious problem and requires a cardiologist to help regulate that rhythm. Ventricular fibrillation, where the big pump sort of wiggles is not compatible with life for a long period of time. That's when we have to be defibrillated. And so ventricular fibrillation occurs sometimes when we've got damage to the heart. One key point, there are several places in the body that we can feel our pulse. One is on the wrist, that's the radial artery. You should get in the habit of feeling your pulse on that radial artery, it should be between 70, 75, count it for 15 seconds, multiply by four, and that will give you your rate per minute. In the neck, the carotid artery is easily felt, and so you can feel your carotid artery, never feel both at the same time, because you could cut off your blood supply uh, to your head. If you've got a fast heart rate, if it's intermittent, uh, the doctor can put on what we call a Holter monitor to try and find that, find the cause, and then treatment is available for all causes of tachycardia.